Hey, my name's Tom with uh, After Dark LED Products. I'm out of Charleston, South Carolina, and I only want to discuss a little bit about how to light up some planes, give you some different options on LEDs, methods, theories behind them, what to do and what not to do. All right, the first most important thing about night flying is maintaining orientation. No matter what else you do, orientation is the prime subject of the reasons you go in the dirt. If you can't maintain your orientation, you go in the dirt. It's dark. So the theory behind night flying is to be able to illuminate the plane enough so you can maintain attitude and orientation while you're in the air. Uh, we've come up with a couple of separate methods to do that. One is traditional, run all the LED strips on your planes, light up the outline of the plane. The second was a little easier and it's called a plug and play system. And I'll explain that with this little uh, model here. Basically what it is, you have green LEDs on your right wing tip and you surround the top, the bottom, and the sides. Uh, you do the same thing on your left wing tip with your reds. We put whites on the front for headlights, and then to help give you another point of orientation, we put yellows on the vertical stabilizer. Some guys like to put them under the horizontal. Anywhere back here, depending on how your plane is configured, you want to be able to maintain orientation no matter which way you go. Now, the reason we do them on top, bottom, and side instead of just on the outsides is so when that plane rolls, no matter which way it rolls, you still see both wingtips lit up. Uh, worst thing you want to do is have LEDs on the outside and make a turn and think you're in this attitude when actually you're in this attitude and all you saw was this LED and you're going in the dirt. Okay, so that's the basic theory. What we want to move on to now is the LED strips that we use to illuminate planes. And LED strips come soldered together in, in multiple lengths. And the way the LED system works is you supply 12 volts and it gives power down the entire run. Every three LEDs is its own individual circuit. It has its own resistor to limit the voltage to keep the maximum intensity of LEDs, and you can cut them apart at every three. So if you wanted to make an arc, for instance, you'd cut them apart at three and jumper them over. They're soldered on. You have little contact pads, uh, copper contact points here. You just tin them up with solder. Very easy to do. Uh, and you can do these links however you want, 16, 20 feet, or one foot. Okay. So now with the LED strips, we've designed a plug and play system using the LED strips where you have whites, you have green, green, and green, and then you have whites, and you have red, red, and red, and then you have yellows and yellows, and that goes back to the way they go onto a plane. You put the whites on the headlights, you wrap the green on the top, the side, and the bottom, and it allows you to maintain your orientation because you can see both wingtips at the same time. Well, these are designed, they come in different sizes of three or six, they come in single LEDs or triple brightness LEDs, but we want to discuss the basic lighting systems tonight. Okay, with the LED systems that we do, the plug and play, again, this is a system, and I'm gonna hold it against the plane. I have one installed already, but this will give you the idea of the white LEDs go on the front and act as a headlight shooting forward. You've got a red wraps around the top, the bottom, and the side. All of these strips have 3M self-adhesive tape on the back. They're peel and stick, and then we use servo connections lightweight micro server wire to go back and hook everything up so it's plug and play as well. We designed the system to be simple and easy and short. Okay, now we want to go to the install, finish up the install and really then we'll go to the way you wire this together. Once you get your wing tips on, both wing tips and your two yellow sections on the tail, then we do micro light servo extensions to get us back to the center of the plane into a Y cable and we do a long extension to get us to the tail with a Y cable and all this taps off of your battery. That gets you powered up, and then what I'll do is I'll hook up a battery, and you'll see the basic system on here that is lit up as it's on the plane. Let me get my Dean's plug on here. She didn't want to go on. There we go. So now, that's what's on the plane. Once you get your extensions on, you just go back and tape them down. It's a night flyer. They don't have to be real pretty, but it gets you your power to your three points of orientation your left wing, your right wing, your tail, and then the whites act as headlights when it's coming to you. That's one method to light up planes. Next we'll go to the, the next method of wiring everything up yourself, doing a custom install. Okay, and the next part I want to talk about is custom installs. On this particular plane, I've done the basic three points orientation system. I've got the wing tips, the wing tips, I've got the tail section, but like I said, that gives you only three balls of light in the air you're flying. We always recommend to add an extra strip on the bottom 
or add a strip someplace else to give you a little more orientation. This one I've gone overkill with and it's all with LEDs that are connected and they're all run together in series. They go around the entire perimeter of the plane and they're outlined. It's overkill, but I know exactly where this plane is in the sky when I see it. So I'm gonna light it up right now and see what she looks like. So this is a second method and it's actually a combination of both. We use the, the regular systems of plug and play and then we've added on a lot of LEDs just for orientation to outline the plane. And you can see with the wingtips, no matter which way this plane rolls, you still see both wingtips in the air. That's the whole purpose of wrapping them around the sides, the top, the bottom. And coming at you, you have white headlights. In the, air, the rear, you have yellow on your tail section back here, and then the outlines. These are easy to do. You just get 12 volts to it, and you can just series it all the way around the plane. Once again, it's 3M self-adhesive tape on the back, peel and stick, solder it up, get your 12 volts to it, and get it in the air. Okay, next we've got some trucks. A lot of RC cars out there, do a lot of lighting on them. We're using the same type of LED strips. We're just embedding them as headlights on the inside so when you snag a rock or flip it over, you don't snag the LEDs and rip them off. And I'll flip it over now, you can see on the inside, we're using what's called color-changing RGB LEDs. And you'll notice on the inside, it scrolls through different colors. So this is to give the car body a little bling underneath. But we have the headlights up here, they're embedded on the inside. You just cut little holes and tape them in backwards. Your whole headlight circuit series is around. And then the LEDs, for the color changing, it's actually a four channel LEDs that change. There's a red, a green, and a blue. And depending upon which circuit gets lit up at what time, as to what color you get. Uh, these still require 12 volts, so some of the cars, a lot only run on a 7.4. You have to add a little you know, 3S LiPo inside for the power. Uh, you'll notice there's a little fancy remote with it. Uh, we can pull up whatever color we want and we can lock it to a, a red, to a green, a blue. Uh, you could do orange, greens, pinks, teals, lavenders. Uh, you can get oddball colors. And this will illuminate the ground underneath your vehicle. Uh, we've also got four preset programs in here. This is a step where it just steps through all seven colors. The next one we call breathe where it, intensity goes up and down. This is a slow fade of all seven colors. And the next one we call a fast snap because it goes through the three colors of red, green, blue, red, green, blue. It'll give you a seizure. Uh, you can turn them on and off. Infrared remote control, plug and play. Just solder up your connections around. Comes with the remote and the, uh, the controller. All right, if you've got special projects in mind, we can go ahead and, and step up to those. Uh, if you know you're going to light a plane up internally, I'll show you a prime example of how to do it correctly. Uh, we have a 12-foot Telemaster with over 20 feet of LEDs in this thing. Uh, like I say, the 12-foot wingspan, LEDs have been in here three and a half years, still as bright as can be. They're triple chip, triple brightness LEDs. Uh, we wrote, run a uh, dual redundancy battery supply system on them. It takes a 3S LiPo on each side, just so there's dual. The top is all translucent, blue, red, green, and the yellow for the main body. And then the bottom on this one is, is pure clear. So if you know you're going to build a plane from scratch or you've got something you're going to recover and you want to make a night flyer out of it, you can internally install all of your LEDs, lay out your design, put your LEDs inside, get your power to them, then do your, your monocoat, do clear, do whatever color scheme you want, and you'll have a, a perfectly lighted night flyer plane. All right, in review, We'll go over a couple little things real quick and we'll close this out. Uh, once again, the biggest and main thing about flying at night is maintaining orientation. So no matter whether you do a custom install to light the plane up the way you want, whether you do your three points orientation and add on to it, or you just do your three points orientation, the most important thing is maintaining orientation so you don't lose your model in the air. Uh, we can supply you with any items you need to do that. We have the expertise and the time and the answers to all the questions, call us. Uh, you can contact us on the web at afterdarkled.com. My name is Tom, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I uh, hope we can help you out. Thank you.